What is up guys, Major Magpie here, and welcome back to Cities Skylines, and look at our cargo harbour, looking like a treat, <laughs> yeah, got a lot of cargo coming in, um, I was thinking this episode guys, we could go ahead and probably do some cargo rail, to go alongside our cargo harbour, um, yeah, let's have a look. There's a couple of buildings I would like to put in. I've gone ahead and removed our landfill site, which was in here. And good news, it's left behind zero pollution. So there's no need to put any trees in there. I'm just going to quickly check our other ones. That one's 22, 19, and 24%. I just want to check and make sure these um, other landfills, or just see where they're at, really, uh, in terms of being ready to remove. Those ones are just about done, and obviously this is our landfill area over here. Uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and bury this railway line here, under the water. Uh, all the way back to about here, probably. Um, and put in a rail cargo. That would be a good episode for me. So, let's go ahead and do this now. We are going to remove... Let's just jump in, get our bulldoze, and we are going to remove it from probably about there, I think, and then go directly underneath it, and it needs to come back out um, about there. How's that train going to go now? Does it just drive off the lanes? Just vanished. Beat me up, Scotty. Um, one thing I was looking at as well. Look at how quick our train station got repainted after the fire in the last episode. <laughs> it's done. Uh, yeah, we've got no working railways at the minute, so I need to stop clotting around and get sorted. Right, Gar garbage is piling up. Apparently, I can say that much. That's because actually, our Garbage trucks have actually managed to like sort themselves out and start and planning their route better to avoid traffic hotspots, which is good. Obviously, the roads have put in is going to help as well. <laughs> but yeah, real. Let's jump on. We need public transport. We're going just a train. We want a track onto there. Probably just go straight through, got my page down. Good job. There we go. Done. Works a treat. Now, one thing. Actually, let's do it just delete it from there. I'm thinking about this one here, how we're going to get it to connect on. But if we remove it from here, take that one away as well. Let's jump back on our line. And we're going to go freeform for this one. So, let's go. Probably actually start lowering it there. Boom, we're on the ground. And then oh, why is it come back? Oh, oh sugar. Never mind. Um let's take two. Page down. Get the railway in. Ah, oh, the subway's in here. Who there? Okay. 
Yeah, the subway's in here, so it's trying to come back up. It's not the worst thing in the world, it just means I've got to rethink the plans a little. So let's come out of there, let's get our bulldoze, let's remove that. Um, Actually, you know what it is? I think I'm just going to move our railway station. Yeah, I am. I'm just going to remove the railway station. Put it back in elsewhere. Boom, it's gone. Sorry, people. I know. It's bad times, isn't it? And now let's go ahead and remove this entire bridge, because it is no longer needed now. good thing actually about removing that railway is I do actually have other train stations now that I've gotten from the steam workshop and um, we've actually got quite a few of them suburban train stations we've got what's this train station with pedestrian crossings I mean we've got quite a few we can go ahead and put some of these guys in Um maybe just go ahead and just do one straight away now I'll put one up here just to see what they need, because I think these have got to clip the roads rather than lines. Yeah. So we are... What's this one? Hmm, that's quite interesting. Yeah, we're going to move the railway to suit our new train station. Then. So we'll go with a big suburban train station, I think. Is that, it's not that big, is it? Hmm. Station for pedestrians. I quite like that actually, it's quite nice. Yeah, we're going to do that then. So, I am going to go ahead and get the bulldoze tool, remove that, that, and that. And we are going to put in a rural train station. Then, are we? No, we're not. We're going to put this in here. So let's just put in a road. And now it'll just be, just going to be a temporary road to there. Just something to attach the train station to. It's been placed on a roadside, but yet you don't want to connect to the roadside. Hmm. Oh, because I've put it on the ground. <laughs> what a douche. Just a man. Never mind. I'll try again. Why does it keep putting this on the ground? I don't want to be on the ground. Alright, I've got to do that. Alright. Ah, I've got to pull yeah, right, I've got that sus now, that's cool. Then go to roads, just gonna go with the straight road then. Page up. Yes! Well, I finally sussed out how you can get underground and above ground. <laughs> and it was so simple. So I'm gonna put that road. Actually, no, I'll move it a bit closer. I'll go there. We are then going to attach our train station with crossing to there. Why will it not let us? Apparently it's already occupied. Let's try something else. Will you, will you go in? So yeah, You'll go in as well. Your suburban train station. Rural train station. Just a train train station. 
Right, so we'll put you in there then. Boom. Yes. There's not going to be much reason to travel here just now, but there will be in the future. I am going to go and put a, another one in here. So we want another straight road. Uh, just anything for now. Let's just run a road to there. And back into train stations again. This time we'll go with a train station with pedestrians over here. No, we want the suburban train station. We're going to put that there. And then, I suppose we could go ahead and put another one. Um. Go ahead and put another one in here. Right in the city centre would be a good place, actually. The height is too high. The height is too high. Well, that road is going straight. I would like to try and get it in here, to be honest. Can we get it anywhere in here? about we go ahead and how high is it exactly yeah, it is quite hilly isn't it Go ahead and do something. Hopefully, this will work. I'm gonna move everything from here and everything from here. And then, I'm gonna play time. Watch all of this goes here. Okay, that has flattened it a lot, which means that we could probably get our train station in there now. So, let's work with um, this back road up here, I think, I'm going to run a fresh, no, I'm going to run a new road through actually, uh, a new road with trees, just straight for now, there we go, and then I'm going to connect our train station to that, and it was going to be big old suburban, wasn't it, we'll put a normal in, what we'll, we'll put over here? You're a suburban, so we will put in a normal train station over here then. Yeah. Okay, we're going to put you probably about there. It's going to work quite nicely. Right, so let's give these guys some tracks then. I'm just going to pause. Oh, it's time paused. I, th I thought it was pausing time. I think it might have already been paused. <laughs> Donut. Let's go underground. And. Probably about there, I think. Bring it back up. Uh, and probably just bring it back up straight. And then curve it one to there. And then maybe just go that way as well. Not being one of those. Isn't one of those. Let's 
crazy little spaghetti junction-y looking thing. But it works. It works. Right, now let's take... Um, we need our bulldoze tool again. We're going to take it all the way back to probably about there. A little bit further. And then not what we want. Railroads, uh, rail trap or whatever it's called. And just take it straight in. Oh, and there and then in. And then just delete the other side of it as well. From there. Rail track. Straight on. To the top there. Hey, it's working. It's working. I'm liking it. Right, and one other thing we that I wanted to do, obviously, was this cargo train station. So, how big is this? This is quite a size. Right. One thing we do need to do with this one, well, actually no, not necessarily, I was going to say, one thing we do need to do on this one is get it in line with the railway track, but I can just run it off the rail track, so we don't necessarily need to get it in line. So how about we go, let's come out here a second, can I run the wall under there? Here, see if I'll let me run this one on the Oh, it will. Well, well, well. Right, let's go free for a minute. Right, so there. Then we'll go with a one way system. Uh, put some trees on it. Just want to run a straight road off there and attach our cargo train station onto that, like so. Only there, right? Let's get some rails. Tunnel thing going on there. Right, let's just jump on the bulldoze. I want to remove that. And remove that. Back into roads. Money is getting a little bit low now, so it's probably going to be a good idea to end this episode. Oh. I've just done that. That's a bit of a mistake. Got a free form. Let's try that again. So there. And boom. Boom. And boom. And there we have our cargo train station. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. Now, one thing I just want to do before we go ahead and leave this episode is... Um, it's not really going to make any difference, actually. I was going to put a train line in, but we need to connect roads on uh, our new train lines. So, I'm not going to actually bother. I'm just going to leave it like that for this episode. Probably pick it up in the next one. And we need to connect this one up as well. Uh, and they all need... Wait, this one just needs water... That one doesn't need anything. This one needs water and electricity, which we can go ahead and give these guys. And just make sure our electrics all connected up. 
Um, yes, seems to be. Seems to be, so let's go ahead and play time. And there. Uh, yeah, it's looking cool. Look at that. It obviously wants electric, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, we'll go ahead and connect these all up in the next episode, guys. But until then, thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.